So I will use this orbital sander to get all the flat areas. And then I'll use the Scotch Bright pad for all the nooks and crannies. And it's really nice because it bends. And so it's easy to get into the grooves when you're sanding without the paper like bending. As a backup, I still bought the regular sandpaper, but I found that this Scotch Bright stuff works really well. I thought I would mention that I'm using 120 grit uh, sanding discs on the DeWalt. Uh, the Scotch Bright just says fine uh, or very fine. And then this is 100 just because the hardware store didn't have 120, but I prefer to use 120. I use my orbital sander to flatten out where I put the putty, putty in. Of course, all of this sanding is making everything very dust. I finally grabbed some plastic so that um, all the dust won't go into the cabinets. Today is day three, and I spent all day sanding cabinet doors and sanding the frames. And I also, some of the spots where I filled in with speckle, I did it a few times because the first time I would do it, it would still leave an indentation after I would sand it. And so I would do another layer to make sure it was flush. So they're all nice and smooth now. If you have good prep work, then you will um, have much better results in the end and it will last a lot longer. So it's definitely worth it.